Hi everybody, uh, sorry for a here, Saturday night, uh, I hope everybody's having a great weekend, uh, Great American Craft Review with Kyle. I uh, hope everyone's having a great Saturday, as I said, I'm going to talk fluently and try to be precise here. So I have one here today, it's, 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 an, it's an infusion, not an infusion, but it's a version of a beer that I've had. It's from a, from a great brewery, uh, they're out of Denver, Colorado. It's a great divide brewing company, it's the Oak Aged... Vanilla, excuse me, the Vanilla Oak Age Yeti. This was this was the rare treat. Vanilla Oak Age Yeti, uh, Denver, Colorado, folks. Here it is. It's a bomber. A uh, ten bucks. It's not bad. I mean, people are gonna say, "Oh my God, it's not bad." The regular Yeti, I think, it's like twelve or a six pack. That's an awesome kick-ass beer, folks. I mean, I wanna, I wanna say that the, the Great Divide is a great company. I think they're the second best brewery in Colorado. Oscar Blues is right there. I think Oscar Brews and Great Divide, if they had a rock, paper, rock, scissors, a punch fight, I don't know who would win. They're both, Avery's ahead of that pack. And I'm, I'm not trying to, I'm not out here to knock Great Divide or Oscar Blues. Avery's in the throw color brewery, and I think in the country's pick. But we're going to go off topic with that. But here, Great Divide, this is a great, not had this beer, folks. I've not had this. Regularly, you had this kick ass, tremendous stuff. It says right here, it says a vanilla oak aged yeti needs no thrills or exotic ingredients, but instead applies a more sophisticated approach to differentiation. Sweet vanilla melds perfectly with the influence of French and American oak, enhancing the signature bold and roasty character of our classic imperial stout. This best may be refined, but if anything, but tame. Here's the thing. Maybe not have the Imperial, <laughs> Imperial yet, excuse me. I had the regular, I, I have, I reviewed a beer about two months ago. I think it was early, uh, maybe late April, early May. It was the regular Yeti. Six pack cans, those little brown cans. It was awesome. I rated it a four, four, two, five. A tremendous, you know, regular style. I don't know if it's beverage or not. Oh, I've had a several great beers. Colette, uh, you know, a couple of other Yeti beers. Ah, uh, this great device is nice. Denver, Colorado. That's actually, this is the original, kind of like the original staple of Denver breweries. If you, you know, Renegade's there now. And there were 15 others, you know. There's a brewery, uh, can't recall the name, that uh, we did a Pace Magazine, not me, but they did a Pace Magazine uh, review, top stop in the country. with was a North Star, a Triple Star, that was right downtown Denver. But again, never heard of that, sir. So I'm going to go ahead and get into this. Uh, I've had a few tonight. I want to thank. Well, I think, but to congratulate AJ, my cousin AJ Lands, graduating Senex High School, going on to Cincinnati, graduating in a big party tonight. Troy Lands, uh, my guy, Troy and Crystal Lands, I want to thank you for that. I'm going to post it on Facebook. I'm going to be tagged in this tremendous party. My God, these people, they love their son, their son, and rightfully so. I mean, their son is really Senex High School busting. I mean, I, I have no doubt that that was just so much hard work, so much labor, so much intensified, but. Troy, Chris, AJ, love you guys, family, not only that, but we're going to to AJ. More, more importantly, to Troy and Chris, they're being able to, you know, provide for AJ to go to that great institution. Not knocking where I was from, you know, Fairfield's a great high school, but St. Nexus is, just, it's better, it is. I and mean, people say, oh my God, St. Nexus is better, and the, the, that they were able to provide, get that institution, these three are great. Hope to uh, get, get in touch with these guys here, and uh, this family, Brent, just great family, great people. And also, my brother in law, Ben and Morgan, you know, me and John, the night. Great, great time. The folks, this was just tremendous. So, let's go ahead and get this. This is going to end up being 262 on the pour. I got a wine glass tonight. It's clear. Ken Jansen, Ken Jansen, Ken Jansen alert, Ken Jansen alert. I'm going to take this video with uh, Brent or uh, Andrea. I got no great. I do have a great divide glass. My friend Aaron Simpson, I'll take him, was in the review as well. But uh, let's get the pour. Vanilla Oak Age Getty. Here we go, folks. Put a pour. I'm going to pour about an eight, or eight ounces in this. Oh, it's dark. Dark. I would probably pour about half of that. Is this for this review? I don't know. I'm definitely going to start taking all this. Oh, that's a bad. Oh, the pour. Very velvety. Chocolate uh, velvety. Ah, uh -huh. there's the pour. Tell you what. My God. I don't know if this is even. It, it says oak okay. It's just barrel aged, but my God, the flavors. Inverse the malts, chocolate malts. It's, again, I, I guess in particular about the beer, it really wasn't, they didn't give a whole lot of particulars. Uh, but the beer here does check in at, uh, what, 9%. Okay, so here we go. It says, this is a 
there. It says, suggested free brains, bacon wrapped venison, and roasted potatoes with garlic, cream sauce. See, that's where you get to the point. I'm not even going to read all that. Uh, Great Library Company, uh, the barrel can right here. It says, but on April 2018, April 2018, you can see that. And then it was saying best, uh, not best buy, but it's saying uh, 9.5, 9.5% 9 alcohol by volume. April 2018, May, June, July, three months so yesterday. Oh, it's going to be good. It's, okay, so uh, there's the poor. Again, great to buy glass for the house. So I'm going to take Ken in there. I'm going to take in there. But uh, yeah, that's one thing. Anyway, Saturday night. I hope everybody's having a good time. Yeah, I've, I've had a lot tonight. 450. Four of the IPAs, great seat mic, so, uh, but, uh, you know, we'll go ahead and get this, so, fuck is this, what is this, there's some shit in there, uh, again, you're getting the rum roasted malt, it's just roasted, it's shack, but there's some vanilla, but I tell you what, I always some lazy, my god, it already looks good, I was say the burr's a great divide, is good for the great Dave would say, also, just again, thank you for this, this everything. Family, friends, AJ, tonight, family. Uh, cheers, everybody. Let's get a sip of this and let's see how great divide then on this vanilla. Okay, hey, cheers, everybody. Wow. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, man. We gotta say that that is this day. It's Yeti with a nice amount of vanilla. Oh, that's a great beer. <laughs> wow, folks. <laughs> One more sip here. That is tremendous. It's a Yeti. It's a Yeti stout. If you ever had the, the regular Yeti, which I don't remember. And then you get, it's kind of malty to use that variety, but you get that vanilla. I don't know. We see what oak is. Definitely vanilla. You get a lot of vanilla, hints of vanilla. Not hints, but a lot of vanilla. Some oak. Okay. Let me try this again. Look at the lace. Jesus Christ, some lovely lacing, glassware, lovely lacing. Oh, that's awesome. My God, folks. Dude, <laughs> that's at least a four, four, that's four, two, five. Four, two, five all day, that's tremendous. Oh, 9.5. Little lace. That is a great beer. I mean, I tell you what, regular Yeti's a tremendous style. I mean, great divide. Listen to me. To me, second best brewery in Colorado. I mean, I, I really. I was in the Minosca Blues. I, I just think Avery's not so much more the barrel age. And just to me, but uh, great divide is tremendous. I mean, there's a whole lot of beer. So I think it is. Because all the great divide, I'm like, yeah, I mean, they're awesome. Great divide is tremendous. So, I rate this an A beer, an A plus beer, an A plus beer. So, again, folks, you want to try this? It's an A plus. I don't know if you can get this. It's the oak, oak, it's the vanilla oak age yeti. Uh, great divide brewing company, Denver, Colorado. It, it's gonna be in, it's gonna be in a pretty good production. I mean, I saw about two, two three, six, uh, four or five is up on the, on the shelf there, but I feel like you know, I'm in Ohio, it's in Colorado, so. Production should be widespread, but uh, yeah. So vanilla oak edge yeti. Again, if you like the regular yeti, I mean it's a great beer. Try this. So one more sip here. I'll you know eight minutes of rim and all. Let's get one more sip. And that flavor. It's milk chocolate. Okay. Oh my god. So the milk chocolate for me, I'm getting okay, so gonna be just so I wanna get in the other beer. So the milk chocolate, I get like dark. Almost like dark chocolate, then a hint of milk chocolate, and then I'll get that vanilla finish with that oak. I guess it's the oak age. Vanilla finish. So dark, hints of dark chocolate with the settled up by vanilla milk chocolate, and then dark, and then like it is a vanilla finish. So great beer. It's an A. Plus. I mean, it's tremendous. So yeah, thank the birds at the Great Divide, and I want to say thank you. Cheers, everybody. 262. It's up and loaded. Thank you so much. Cheers, guys.